semi-carbonic maceration is a process slightly different. So you take whole bunches of grapes, you put them in a vat, you close the vat, you don't splash it with a CO2. So because of the weight of the, of the grapes, the bottom grapes are gonna start crushing, they're gonna start fermenting, and they're gonna start to release CO2. This will create that oxygen-free environment and top of the grapes will start to create intercellular fermentation. So this fermentation is going to be a combination of crushed fruit and intercellular fermentation and then the winemaker has a choice of crushing the whole fruit and continuing the fermentation on the skins and then maybe to do some post-fermentation maceration as well. The idea of this semi-carbonic maceration is to create more structured wines that still have the combination of intercellular carbonic maceration that will give more bright fruit to the wine. The final variation of carbonic maceration technique is mixing whole bunches of grapes with crushed fruit. So even though with this technique there is no CO2 created, the combination of crushed fruit and the juice and the submerged whole bunches of grapes will create the intercellular fermentation in the whole grape berries. And this will have a similar effect to a semi-carbonic maceration where you have a normal fermentation, crushed grapes with the intercellular fermentation. So you're gonna get wines with more intensity and brighter fruit flavors. Wine people, let's simplify wine together. Stay thirsty and wise.